Hey students, I wanted to provide some quick feedback for you about your individual student project just number three and four. Um, the first is that you did a really good job of following the instructions. I appreciate both the sample writing you provided, the outlines you did, um, and I'm really interested in a lot of these topics that you've selected. Some of them are fresh and brand new for me, um, so that's pretty hard to do since I've been teaching humanities for almost 10 years. Uh, so I'm really grateful for the, um, for the attention you paid to that and also just the effort you made in um, choosing a topic that you would actually enjoy. You have to do the work. You don't have to be miserable when you do it. So I'm glad you, most of you, were able to find something that you liked. All right, here are a few things that a lot of people made mistakes about and I wanna make sure that you get this feedback. First is um, many of you wrote the paper or gave me a sample that was very history oriented, so lots of facts, lots of um, details, uh, but not necessarily um, an analytic perspective. So you didn't identify an element and then take it apart um, or talk about how it relates to other elements and or not a lot of information about the compare and contrast. So make sure you stay focused to the type of project we're doing. They're not doing a history report. We're doing an analytical essay or a compare and contrast essay. All right. All right. Number two, basically nobody, maybe like two students provided in-text citations for their sample written work. And that's okay. I didn't take off points for that, but this is a really important thing that I need to make sure you know that when you do citations, it's not just at the end of the essay with a work cited a reference page that you should do in-text citations. And there are lots of examples of that in the information literacy module that you just completed. So take a look at that and also take a look at the Purdue OWL online writing lab website. Um, there's a sample page paper as well as information about you know how to put together citations and stuff all right let's see here number three academic sources a lot of you used web sources that are popular uh, not scholarly and that's okay those sources are good you should use them you should cite them awesome but you have to have academic sources too because this paper isn't just about you know learning more it's also about developing the skill set to do academic prose so go to the library website and search in the database academic search complete with your keywords and i would be surprised if you can't find some academic sources there so i'm really again i'm looking for things that are published in a scholarly reviewed journal that's the safest academic source if you have a question about your source please email it to me specifically, but I was very thorough in my feedback. Almost everybody got written feedback as well as verbal feedback for their individual student project number three. Um, let's see here. Final thing, please take advantage of the extra credit. Um, if you go to the Writing Center once, you get two points. If you go back again, you get another three points. Your paper is better because they helped you. Um, it makes it easier to grade for me. I mean, it's just better. And then plus you get these extra five points. So not only is your paper better and you probably will go from a C to a B or a B to an A just because of their feedback, then you've got these extra five points that will definitely push you over the edge and make sure you get that extra, um, extra points. And if you get a perfect score plus five points, then I'm gonna give you a perfect score plus five points. Uh, so that's gonna help your overall point contribution to the entire course course too. All right, so if you have any questions, make sure you get in touch with me. I'm very much looking forward to reading your individual student projects for uh, ISP number four.